Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we in the windy city, you know we gon' bear down. Whole team step out on the field, ain't no playing around. Home of the bulls in the socks. Bet my defense put you in the box. When you see us out there on the field, we be flying high like the black hawk. You be y'all talk, we be y'all walk. Look how we bringing this pressure. Now you out here trying to throw a Hail Mary, taking them desperate measures. This is Shot Town, this is my town. TD bringing heat, don't cry now. Windy City, yeah, it's a new day. About to bring the trophy home like MJ. Okay, I want to say right now, please, if you guys want this series to continue, honestly, the only reason a lot of the league is kind of done with this, um, it's taken a lot of us filling teams and stuff to make this happen. You guys got 10,000 likes in the last video. All I will ask, because of the fact, if you guys want more episodes of this, if you want another episode in two days, if you want the Bears franchise, if you are a fan, kill the like button. 10,000 likes. I will do everything I can to continue this series for as many seasons as possible. It's difficult because we are so far in it. It's hard to find people uh, to kind of play on the teams. But I do want to say that. Bobby I found me won the freaking bowl. I have not been on since then um, to kind of just talk about our Super Bowl. Who do you guys think in the Super Bowl was the Super Bowl MVP? If you guys were to give the Super who Wait, who won it? I don't know if I ever even looked. I, I'm not convinced I looked. Who? It should be Jalen Ramsey, I think. Yep. Boom! It is Jalen! Okay, I was about to say Jalen Ramsey should win that award. I 100% felt that way just based on how he played. Let me know what you guys think. Jalen Ramsey made those two huge... That Super Bowl win was dominant, bro. We have created such a great team here. It would be a shame to see it just kind of go, man. I, 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 love, I love this franchise. I really do. Jalen showed up, made a couple of absolutely huge plays. Justin Fields won NFL MVP, but Jalen with the interception. Our defense won us that championship. Our offense was amazing, but our defense really, really, really was fantastic. Like, it, it, it was unstoppable. Um, we, we blitzed a ton. We got, like, just a ridiculous amount of pressure, and we completed a perfect season. Uh, three touchdowns to the one pick, Teddy Freeman. So cool to see Teddy Freeman. Teddy Freeman this season for the first time will have actual abilities that will allow him to like do some really good things. Guys, going into the offseason, we got lots to talk about. We got lots to discuss, lots to unpack. We have the draft, everything. Um, as far as people we are losing, um, I hate to say it, but all of these guys, I can't afford any of them. Straight up, I, I just can't afford any of them. As sad as it is to say, all of these guys are going to free agency. We can't. I, I paid Sauce Gardner and Jalen like too much. Not too much, but I, I went aggressive. I wanted to win a bowl. I kind of had the Ram strategy a bit in the season. I, I wanted to win now. Um, and in doing that, we paid some people a lot of money in order to win now. And I think when you do that, you definitely risk the possibility of, you know what, at some point, we might end up, this might end up becoming a bit of like almost another type of rebuild if we lose some of these dudes. But I will kind of show you some of our cap issues. George Pickens need to be paid next year. So there's no way I will get rid of him. Our only big savings is Jalen Ramsey, who I would consider potentially getting rid of for the right price. It would have to be for the right price and the right player. Um, but he's definitely, if we are in huge cap issues, Jalen Ramsey's got to go. He's so good. He's so freaking talented. And I want to run this thing back. Can we get a hashtag run it back in the comments? Run this thing back. Uh, because yeah, he wants he wants a lot of money. He's going to want a lot of money next year. And he saves me 12 and a half million. Is, other than that, like, we don't have a lot of savings. We have a lot of penalties. We got to play Sauce. We paid Pitts. We paid Justin. Davenport, Jalen, like we have a wild, wild, wild cap situation for the future that I don't even know how to process. I, I really, really, really don't. If I'm being straight up with you guys, there's so much to like consider here, but we kind of the way I did cap and I will say I set us up to run this thing back. The way I did our cap situation, if you really look at like players who I have, the fact that I was able to create this roster and still have the ability to like play games cap wise is pretty phenomenal. Like 
I don't know. Like, the fact that we're going to get two seasons with this squad, it's hard to look at that as anything other than a huge win. Teddy Freeman, like, lit oh my gosh. Boom! Let's go! And he gets a slot upgrade. I've been waiting for this one forever. Meaning that Teddy Freeman officially, ladies and gentlemen, gets short and early. We have kind of helped with his rebuild from the beginning. George Pickens we brought in. Nobody wanted him, man. Absolutely nobody wanted him. I decided, hey, I'll sign him. Made him the best receiver in the league. Sorry, I could talk about this team for ages. But eventually, we we're, we're going to make some decisions here in free agency and all these things. Like, we're going to have to. Um, I don't know who I am willing to get rid of. I don't know who. Like, I think O-line is definitely an area I need to work on. I, I'm willing to, if my cap is as bad as I think it is going into free agency, uh, consider getting rid of Jalen for maybe someone a little bit worse, but a little bit younger. Jalen did win MVP for us, but it is what it is, man. It's a business. Um, we're going to go to free agency. Guys, I just want to say for the last time, because we probably won't be able to see this anymore, Super Bowl. Let's run this thing back. That's the whole thing. Every comment... If you guys love bears, as much as I know you do, every comment, hashtag run it back and kill like button. I promise we will do 14 seasons of this. If that, if there is still support, I will continue bears franchise and I don't care. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you in free agency. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the, way, the reason I got this stupid, I need a haircut. I'm getting my haircut today actually. Okay, free agency. Oh, let's, ooh. How much money do I have? Is this just a wash? I have minus... $10 million. I am completely broke. We are so broke. Like, I gotta, I keep trying to come up with a joke. I am, how broke are you? I'm so broke right now. So broke. I can't sign anybody. I probably can't even sign a third string punter. We are in, uh, like, our cap situation, dude, is in such... Like, I have 830K. I can sign one $1 million player. Okay. Oh, gosh. I got to think. Okay. What do we do cap-wise? What do you, like... I need to save money. I, I do. And it's, it's not necessarily the biggest deal in the world, but, like, all these dudes I need to sign. Ro, I don't want to... Like, none of these guys I want to lose. How do I, like... How do I operate in this? I think I'm just like, we're just a broke franchise. We are what we are. We're just freaking flat out, stupid, punch me in the face, broke. And I don't know. I got to, who do I, okay, let's go to the payroll. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. This is team salaries. So this is kind of what we have at the moment. Um, our salaries for 2027 are 286 million and the cap is 295 million. So players that we have signed long term are Jalen Johnson, Kyle Pitts. Players that we don't, Jalen Ramsey, we don't. Darnell Money Mooney needs to be paid this year. That's an interesting one. Am I even gonna be able to pay him? Mooney needs to be paid. So really, we're not in that bad of a spot. When I think about this, I have some dead cap of like Conklin, who I'm going to be able to get rid of. Gene Lewis, some of these guys. I think if we're smart money wise, like what would you guys do? I have Davenport for two. I have Kyle Pitts up until 2030. Sauce up until freaking 2031. I'd love to get Sauce to become a superstar, bro. I would, I would freak out. Um, Roquan is there. Jalen is the only one, and I feel like Jalen's gonna want like 30 million. I don't think I can retain Mooney and Jalen. I really don't. So I have to make a decision with Jalen or with Darnell Money Man Mooney. Arguably my favorite player on the entire team. Um, but we actually definitely gotta take a long look at him and just see, okay, what thing is he is getting a $15 million bonus. He doesn't save us a lot of money by getting rid of him is the thing. So it's like, like we, we save eight, lose three. Darnell Money Man Mooney's 29 years old. He's almost 30. Going to be 30 next year. He's going to want probably six years. 
He's the face of the team, but money-wise, he might be someone that I put on the block. I'm going to put him on the block right now and just see who bites. I think my I would honestly consider getting rid of him for like a defensive player. I just want to see who bites. I think cap-wise, he's one of those guys that I'm going to have a really difficult time re-signing next season. And Pickens and Freeman can carry the load. Like I, I know that George Pickens and Teddy Freeman are good enough to kind of be a one-two. I just, I want to see what I can get for Mooney. Let, let, let's see. I, I put Mooney on the block and everybody, like literally everyone in the league wants him. Jason Coleman. Let me look at this Jason Coleman. Why would he send me this? Because that's not a horrible, like, if that guy's, if I haven't heard of them, they're probably young. Jason Coleman's a superstar. 5'11". He's cheap. Has he been paid yet? Has he been paid yet? This is exactly what he needs to get paid, I think, this year. Shoot. And they're first for Mooney. That's very intriguing. That's actually a very good offer. Oh, because Jason Coleman on the books isn't going to want near. Like, he's good. Very good. He's a superstar dev, 24-year-old. On the books, he's not going to want near what, like, he's going to be cheaper than Mooney and Ramsey. Like, he's going to be payable. Like, I bet he asks for maybe $8 million a season, $7 million a season. That's a really intriguing offer. Okay, what else do we got here? That That's solid. I Mooney's a beast, and I love Mooney, but... It's money ball. I don't think I can pay him. Seahawks are offering me Niles Nash and their first round pick number 14 overall. A number 14 overall pick in the draft and Niles Nash. Niles Nash, bro? What are we freaking five? No, I don't want Niles Nash. Give me Taekwon Thornton. Give me Taekwon and that first. And then we talk. Give me Taekwon and that first, let me talk. I'm not talking for Niles Thornton. I gotta put a hat on again. My hair sucks so bad. You ever just look at yourself and just hate it? No, just kidding, I don't hate it, I'm, that was a joke. But you ever just look at your hair and just I'm like, man, this hair is trash. Okay, Broncos, that looks wild. Okay, I'll keep kind of seeing what everyone says. I'll keep up with you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have an offer from the Titans. Guy we just beat in the Super Bowl, Alante, Amani, and a second. Does he need to get paid? Alante, what's his contract? He's 20 mil a season. That's, he's just too expensive. That's, I think that's the main issue I have with it. Oh, I love him, but he, he is ridiculously expensive. Let me look at this trade. So it was Mooney. It was Jaden Vincent. This is one of my guys that I have who's just, I don't know why. He, was it Jaden Vincent? I feel like you didn't put the right guy in. Um, it was also Amani. Amani is a cap hit for me. I think I think I honestly think he's trying to clear cap with this trade as well, which is I'm not in a position. He's in his last year. Amani's just a. I would honestly say the most potentially fair deal is Alante. I would do. I would do Alante. This is what I would do. Okay, if we're really playing money ball here. With the Titans, I could do Alante Taylor for Mooney. Doesn't really help my cap situation a whole lot. But that guy is a stud, Alante Taylor. Let me just say that. He's got, he, he knows. He's got three superstar DBs. He's got a ridiculous secondary. He's willing to get rid of the one. I'm also making the Titans better, which I do not want to do. And I do not want to see him in the Super Bowl. So that's – I don't want to trade with him. I don't, I don't want to make it easier on him. I really don't. Okay, Tides just sent me another one. Darnell Mooney, Eddie Jackson, and Devin White. Oh my gosh. For Derrick Henry, Alante Taylor, and a... <laughs> no freaking way. Okay, he's trying to put... He wants Mooney so bad because his receivers aren't good and his receivers are old and I kind of like that. I like him having bad receivers. He needs this deal. He needs this deal really, really, really bad. And I like, I like knowing that. I really, really, really do. What is my cap situation? I'm going to recreate this trade. 
and see what where my cap is on this for cap reasons. That's the only way it works cap wise. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a showstopper. Oh, that's a huge trade. That's a huge trade. That's a huge trade. I I can't deny that it like that it wouldn't be helpful. Henry is kind of a wash in the trade. Not to say that he's not amazing, but at his age, he doesn't like. I definitely will play him, but Henry, I'm not gonna pay Derrick Henry. I don't think. So it would be a one-year wonder with Derrick Henry at 12 million. It's a great cap trade for me. Alante is expensive in the future. Oh, I think what prevents me from doing it is the fact that Alante is 20 million and I may be able to retain Eddie depending on what we see in week one. Let's get to week one and then we'll see. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna table that trade because I wanna see where I'm at cap wise and if I can pay these dudes. That's, that's what I wanna see. For now at least, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna, I don't, <sighs> it's really good. It's a really good deal, but I, I, I gotta say no for now. I can't sign free agents. Let's see what, how the draft goes. Let's see what we find in the draft. And uh, yeah, we'll see. There's one player in the draft that I was quite amazed by. Anytime you see a top five running back, this dude has ran a 4-2-8. If he's there, I will 100% take him. I, I promise you if Alan Jones is there. Other than that, this left tackle, if he's there, I'm, I'm looking to try and get better on, on the offensive line. Quarter, all those positions are important. My O-line is one of the weakest parts of my team. Um, so we'll see kind of what happens in the draft. But trades, I'm still very much open to hear trades from people. And everyone knows that. So there could be something that pops up. Okay, the more I look at this dude, the more I'm like, I actually think that this is the greatest running back I've ever seen. I did not realize that he was six foot one and 232 pounds with a break tackle. I am... So pick 16. If... The guy, oh my gosh, the guy who has pick 16 is willing to trade. And the Bears, he needs corner help. Let's give him a call. On the clock. The I will only do it if that guy's around. I think that's the best prospect I've ever seen in my life. I would do Beckham in my first for your first. That way you stay in the first round, you move down, and you get a 94 overall star dev corner. I think that's a great deal. What's your first? 32. It's 32. the last pick. But okay. you're you're going up 16. But the deal's got to be made on the fly because I'm looking at a certain player. And if he is there, I will make the deal with you. If he's not, I won't. Uh, it's the Bills. Now okay. I, the clock. Okay. Bet. Nobody looks at running backs. I like, he's 232 pounds. And he ran a 4-2-8. This is the most obvious pick on the planet. I do not understand how no one's picked him yet. I really, I, bah, I'm baffled. I am absolutely baffled. And if it gets to, if it get, if he drops to that guy who's trading his pick, I will trade up. Like I said, he's the heaviest guy here. He's 232 pounds. Like, bro, this guy could be, Hey, he's got a break tackle. Sorry, I've never seen a prospect like this. Elite speed. You're telling me you are six foot one, 232 pounds with elite speed and a break tackle. And no one in the first 12 picks wants this guy because he's a freaking running back. Okay, if it gets to us, if he gets to that pick, I will do anything I can to make that trade with the Bears user. I'll even sweeten the pot if I have to. I, I'll do anything for Alan Jones and he's gone. Dang it. Oh my gosh. Okay, never mind. That was my dream running back, bro. I needed to trade up sooner. Shoot. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, ah, I waited for this pick. Um, couple people, oh my gosh, I'm up. Couple people I'm interested in, one of which just freaking went, okay. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, this Zach Flowers is round one projection. How did he move? For a great speed, he'd be a good defensive tackle. But I've been playing, um, I ended out the season with Devin White playing a lot of defensive tackle for me. So I think I would avoid that. 
Um, I do feel like my running... Ugh. This is actually not my favorite pick that I've ever had to make. I like this dude. I like this guy. Just because of the fact he's got like really good size and good speed. But I don't know. He didn't run that well. Oh gosh, this why is this always happened to me? I hate drafting. I hate drafting. I feel like one of these dudes can probably just burn. I should just look for a burner. That guy ran a 436. Dudley. Dudley ran a 436. Both those guys ran crazy well. Both of them give me the option to potentially CJ Hall. 436. None of those are crazy. I'm looking for more of the 42s. As crazy as it sounds. This dude, Nolan Snow, ran ridiculously well at the combine. He ran a 434. I'm Canadian. I like snow. No, I can't do it. That's too stupid. Okay, I'm just gonna go best available here. I'm gonna go with Zach Flowers, defensive tackle. Um yeah, I'm gonna go Zach Flowers, DT, with my pick. On the clock now, it's the Denver Broncos. With the next pick, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Ah, okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're two picks away. I can't mess up again. Um, I'm gonna probably play this one about as simple as I can. And I just spent the entire time looking for who's the fastest receiver. I'm not expecting a lot here. But on the off chance that I do um, move away from Mooney, I got a guy here who's actually got relatively good height at 5'10 out of East Carolina. Um, ran a 4'3'1. He's a burner. He can probably get reps um, for Mooney. I, I would assume he's fast. Boom, let's go, John Norris. Okay, I couldn't take a risk. Pick number two, I was like, no, we can't miss. We cannot miss on freaking pick number two. That was, yeah. After that pick, but hey, maybe that defensive tackle is amazing. I have no sweet clue, but if he's not, he's not. Um, and he very well might not be, but we'll see. He could be amazing. He was round one pick one, and he ran a pretty good 40, so maybe we got something there. Maybe we don't. Next round, I want to go with this Rudy Barden dude. This Barden guy looks scary to me. He, uh, he ran a 4.39. I am 100% for taking a running back, a little bit more of a speedier guy, and seeing how we do. Because I do like my two running back systems. Um, but I also still very well might do that trade for Derrick Henry. So we'll see what happens here. I don't know. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, final pick. I told you guys. I, I don't know. I'm, this has just been a bit. I want this guy. I want Nolan Snow. He's elusive, and he's 215 pounds. And he is... Dang, okay, I see you, Nolan. 94 speed, 85. He, he's he's going to get carries. 100% he's going to get carries. I don't know. Third round, I I trust. Yeah, I think we're only doing three rounds. We're like 40 seasons into this, so we'll see. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's find out. I'm so I'm stressed about my first overall pick. 70, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay. Yo, Snow's not bad either. Okay, so my first pick. Freaking Zach Flowers. Yo, he is a beast. You know, for 313, for 313, 75 speed, I'm not mad. That guy's, tell me that's not an athlete. That dude ran a 47 at 300. And that is ridiculous. That's actually, I'm actually, the more I look at that pick, I think he's a beast. I got to play him. John Norris is a, everything I expected him to be 95 speed, 95 acceleration. Not good anywhere else. But on the off chance that I need him and I do make the trade and get rid of Mooney and totally clear cap on this team, this was good. 94 speed, uh, 92 excel, 22-year-old, 5'10", 215 rookie. I, I like that a lot. Um, CPU did horrible. Absolutely horrible. So, huh, that's our draft. Guys, the main things we got to talk about right now is what on earth I am going to do... Um, with <sighs> what I'm going to do with Mooney. Let's go through preseason. Um, and then let's talk trades. Cause I think I'm going to make some moves here. I really do. Yo, shut up. This is huge. Okay. Got to interrupt this program. Wide receiver Parker Washington. 
Um. Who is Parker Washington? Who the heck is Parker Washington? That was really cool and I'm happy about it, but who's Parker? Who even is that? Eh. Don't care. Okay, we'll move on. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I was waiting to show you guys. Um, we're in week number one, we're playing T-Sap. Let's freaking go, by the way. Uh, my new rookie's gonna start, but this is what I wanted to show you guys, because this is where um, we gotta make some moves and they're not gonna necessarily be popular, but they're just kind of like moves that I, I feel I need to make. So, Jalen Ramsey, look at how much cap space I have. Top right corner, $6.65 million to pay people. So, with that being said, every one of these players, Jalen Ramsey, Darnell Mooney, after this season, Calvin Beckham, are all gone. Say goodbye to say goodbye to them. No matter what, Darnell Money Man Mooney is useless to me next year. Absolutely useless to me next year. So I got to put him on the block. As I said earlier, I, I can't pay him. So he's a beast. Um, I love him, but I got to get younger and I got to clear that. Same with Jalen Ramsey. Luke, Luke, Luke. Hello? Yes, hello. Can you hear me? Okay. Wh why do you want to get rid of Alante? What's wrong with him? Nothing's wrong with him, man. We just need a little bit more help on offense. I know you do. The deal is what? Alante, Henry for Mooney. But, but before I got a second, I want something I want something a little bit back. Okay, okay. Okay, what else will you give me? I want you to take some of my cap hit too. How about that? You take some, you have money. I want you to take some of my biggest savings, guys. Okay, who's, who's that? Take Eddie. Take, let, let Eddie play out his career, treat him well, and you, and you, you better treat him good. Treat him good. Oh my gosh, I forgot Davenport's about, oh wow. Davenport's about to get his other ability. I convinced both of them to just give me the week two. Let me play TSAP with my team the way it is. Let's, boom, the trade. Hey, I still might blow this thing up. I, all those are, I still know what's best, but I just want to at least at minimum go into this game with the squad, potentially for the very last time. Don't get emotional on me. Don't cry. Don't shed a tear, but I want to play TSAP one last time. One last time. I want to play freaking TSAP. Um, guys, this is the depth chart. We got Mooney, Pickens, Teddy Freeman, Kyle Pitts, Tackle, Chuck, the man, Peyton. Right tackle, I got Jack Conklin. Um, Spears is going to start this year. I've, after thinking about it, he is just huge. He's a three-year guy. He's six foot eight. Right end is going to be Davenport. Um, left end is going to be Davenport. Right end is going to be Roquan. I just need to switch um, Roquan to be here. Yeah, no, that, that, that's right. DBs, Jalen Johnson, Jalen Ramsey, Sauce, Calvin Beckham, Chris Wilcox. Like, name a better DB group in the world. Like, you've, you've never... I need a user, though. When I, when I look at what I'm missing, dude, it's a user. That's why that Vikings deal with for Lewis Sign is probably my most intriguing offer um because i don't really have a good user when, when i when i look at it my user is one of the weaker parts of my team not to say that it's weak and not to say that i'm bad but i don't i'm not great at my safety position it definitely would be one of those things that i'm a little bit weak at so it's like getting that lewis so sign for him plus something else could be the actual right move Sometimes the correct move is hidden a little bit. Sorry, if I seem confused and lost in this video, it's because that's exactly what I am. I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to know even what I want to do. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, this is the squad. Snow's going to play fullback, but Snow's going to get some reps. Khalil, Khalil's had a great career, but I'm, I'm interested to see this Snow guy play a little bit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give Nolan some carries to see if he can shock us a little bit. Um, Titans just sent the trade again. Darnell Mooney and Eddie, Eddie for Alante. I just don't know. I like the fact that Alante... I almost have to accept this. I think I have to accept it. I don't know. I'm sorry. I really do. I'm getting Derrick Henry for a year and Alante Taylor a 96 speed corner for one receiver. 
whom I love so much. Okay, just wait till week two. I want to play TSAP with this team. He agreed to that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, um, I don't think I need to talk that much anymore. There are going to be lots of freaking who knows what going on over these first couple of weeks as I try and get this stuff sorted out. All I know is we're playing TSAP. Week number one. Uh, I don't think he had a whole lot of money either. That's what happens when you build good teams and your rookies uh, start asking to be paid. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going up against TSAP's absolute miserable, like, just squad that is so freaking insane. We just got to be better today. Let's go. Let's go. Rematch of the NFC Championship. Let's go, baby! No! Is that a new stadium? What? What? Shut up! Shut up! That's a new... They build me a new stadium! Unless we're in freaking Europe. Oh my gosh! I got a new field? That's so sick! That's so sick! I got a new field. Go snow? Go snow? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't freak out too much, but we just got a new field. I am completely freaking out. Go, Khalil. Go for a run, Khalil. Yeah, easy money, first down. Be smart. It's so nice to have. It's been a, like a few days since, probably a week since the Super Bowl. It's, it's fun to be back playing with this team, bro. I freaking love these guys. Go, go, Khalil. Good run, Herbert. Back to throw, Fields. Being chased out left. And then you add the fact Justin can do this. That's 15. Yo, that's the one thing. Madden doesn't quite have. Not that I'm like nerding out completely and asking for that. But like, that in my opinion is a 15-yard penalty. Good job, Khalil! Set him down! Who are you, 59? Off-play action, Fields. Oh my gosh, that pocket. That pocket's too much. That pocket. Exactly right Good job, Herbert. Well done, Khalil. That's seven. That's seven for Khalil Herbert. Well done, kid. Yo, do we just run this back? Say goodbye to Mooney, give him a hug, and just say, hey, do you want to go win another bowl? Dang, good dot. Good dot, good dot, good dot. On play action, they'll throw. He's gonna float this over the middle deep. Got a man, it's called Angelo. They were successful last time finding the end zone on their opening drive of the season. Go, go, Khalil. Well done, Herbert. Well done, Khalil Herbert. Oh my gosh, Khalil! Khalil! Heard the rumors. Oh my goodness, do you think he didn't hear those rumors? Go Khalil. Go for a run, Khalil Herbert. Go for a run, Khalil Herbert. Well done right now about that. George Pickens, welcome back, George. Welcome back, George Pickens. I see you, bro. I always see you. I always see you, George Pickens. Here's a give to Herbert. Go Herbert. That's first. Play action. It's Fields. George Pickens. That's a good dot. I like the throw. I like the throw a lot. They snap it to Fields. Got him. Let's go, George! Come on! Boom! Love that guy. I'm throwing it to him every single time. In the, in the red zone, George Pickin. He had like 40 touchdowns for me last season. He's going to have even more. Good job. Sauce. Really sauce? Oh, my God. Good defense, guys. Good defense. Good defense. Bring a receiver in motion right. Bellinger on a post. Bellinger on a post. He's got a man. Dang. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Oh, 
he's got a man wide open. Upcoming second down play. Another try for Barkley. He's honestly going to run again. I know TSAP, he's going to run again because he wants to guarantee that there's no time left. So I probably hear he, he trusts. He's running this again, 100%. Totally a fair decision. But now we got to try and stand up. That spot of the field, call one of those. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Here on first down, he's gonna loft one deep left side here. It's caught inside the 25. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And a quick throw here that's complete. Okay, I gotta switch it up. I don't know how, man. I don't understand. Dang, okay, we gotta play better defense downfield. Three times that dude's burnt me on streaks, and I, I'm backing off with Sauce Gardner. That's horrendous, horrendous, horrendous. Okay, offense, score, next drive, we gotta get a stop. Simple as that, gotta get a stop. Let's catch Teddy. Let's catch Teddy Freeman. I actually think I maybe was able, could have, Potentially thrown deep there. there. Like I may, I think I probably had Mooney, but it's to get back in this game. Uh, that, it was tough. Has him up past the 40 already, and another first and ten to throw his fields. He's gonna flip one out here to his right. Good job, Khalil. Well done, Khalil. A play fake now. Fields to throw. Steps away to his. Let's go. Good job. Sit him down, Pitts. Sit him down, Kyle Pitts. Good. Freaking quick read, right? Up top. Ooh. Am I in? Oh, I'm not. Yo, who is my kicker, though? Good job, Mooney. Good job, Darnell. To throw again on second down. Fields forced out to his What a laser. Oh my gosh. Okay, get there. Can someone tackle him? Good job. Okay, defense could not be more important than it is right now. Okay, something is glitched. There's something glitched. He's, he's in man. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't understand what's going on. What's up with that dude? Every single time, no matter who I put on that guy, he's getting open, wide open against man coverage. Every single time, he's getting wide open. I don't quite understand what's going on. Oh, gosh, that's tough. Okay, well... Dang, now we really got to fight. Shoot. That's horrible. I've literally just lost based on the fact that I don't know why I can't cover that rope. They're gonna go. It's Fields. He'll let it go deep for Freeman. And the defense okay. loses him. It's I don't know what I gotta do, but I gotta switch something up. I gotta switch something up. First down. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Going up top. And you guys can't pick that! Oh my gosh, this game. I'm on my D-lineman. Thank gosh. Thank gosh. Good defense. Okay. Should have had a pick to play before. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Off play action. Fields. And he can't find a receiver. I think we got to play for three. Now it's Fields. And try and stop. We need three to stop him again. Miles Murphy just absolutely freaking destroyed us on that outside. Okay. Oh, this gives this gives us a chance. You got. I need. You need three to win. Um, you can say, but. 
Now he's gonna turn on Kill Clock. I desperately, desperately, desperately need a stop. But if we can get a stop, we can we can win this game. So, dang. Ah, that's horrible. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. He's got Bellinger. Yeah, I had to I had to try and stop the run on third and short. On play action, they'll throw. Gonna throw right side here. You got it. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Looking for the end zone. That's actually gives us a slight chance. Better than him killing the clock. Better than him killing the clock. Dang it though. Good game by TSAP. Ah, I had got him three or four in a row. I was due. I was due to lose. Dang it. Take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. It's the most annoying thing about playing T Fat Bar Nine. You see you see what happens with his tackles? It's completely glitchy. And that's why he trades for these tackles. Just watch. I'm just gonna wait till the last play. I just want you guys to watch what happens. I am gonna and just let me know if this is stupid. He's activated now, so it's kind of... But just watch what happens with his tackles. It's been happening like that since year one. It's tough, bro. You can't get behind against him or else he'll just do that. But dang. First loss in 20 games. He played well. I got freaking torched all game by one dude. And I don't understand why this guy was like, okay, explain to me. Explain to me. Okay. I, I have Sauce Gardner. What is happening here? Every single time Sauce Gardner was hit, there was some where it was even like way more like this one, for example. This one made me want to lose my mind. We'll be talking about opening up oh, on night again my guys were running season. into each other. Okay, so that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, check this out. When he does this against Dollar and he puts and him on a corner, watch what happens. To get ready for next week. That He's guy bumps Gardner, Chicago, which gets this dude wide open. Opener. And you can tell because he's throwing it to this 93 speed guy every freaking time. Oh my gosh. What? This one? Boom. I was ready to lose my mind. Hey, good dots. Good dots. Okay, we got to get prepared for week number two. We got the Packers. Bounce back game, bro. Bounce back game. Ah! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, bam, fellas. Blah! Week two. That one stung. This guy is going to just. Live it like it doesn't matter how many times you beat TSAP. This is part of what makes this franchise so good. It does not matter how many times you beat this dude. The one time that he has a guy named Max Colangelo go for six for 239 against you, it stings more than the other ones. Like more than the enjoyment I get from when I beat him, losing to him hurts more than the enjoyment of four wins. Um, I need another game to think about these trades, and I, I want to actually get to players ready to negotiate. So we're going to get to week three um, before I look at that, those deals. And I, I feel like, honestly, the offense looked fine. Our, our DBs were torched a few times. We do have great DBs, but it's, it's honestly a matter of just like I got some decisions to make. I want to see it actually show up on players ready to negotiate. I want to like have them right there. I want to know exactly how much money I have before I start making some of these deals. Um, Maybe we can sign Mooney and he can retire on the team. Maybe we can't. I don't know. Um, week number two, going up against the Packers. Uh, this guy's legit from what I remember. At least from last year, I feel like he was relatively good. Max Jones, Aaron Jones, um, A.J. Brown, Darren Peoples. I am going to be, for the most part, running a lot more read option. I want to try and get Justin Fields moving. I got to utilize his leg. That's one of the things that I want to do year number two. And if you agree with that, let me know in the comments. But I do want to run a playbook. Um, where I can run with him a lot more and just kind of utilize what makes Justin Fields so great in this game. His legs I and mean, then the fact that he can run around like he does is just unbelievable. So you got to make sure that you show that off as much as you can. The Packers are 1-0. They're in our division. It's not going to be an easy game. I'm not going to shake things up too much. No trades, no nothing. Snow looked good. I might put in snow again. But overall, ladies and gentlemen, week two, Packers, let's go. Good run. Good run, good run, good run. 
Holy schmoly. Okay, our defense, my, uh, I gotta get some stuff sorted out. I really do. I am not looking good on defense right now at all. And I, I'll own that. This is not a good, good looking defense. Get over here, get over here, good defense. There we go, well done, Beckham. Come here, Jalen. Yo, this is, we're the bad news bears. We are the 2022 Rams right now. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, don't worry about it, chill. Everybody chill, we're fine. We are fine, don't worry about it, we're fine. Holy moly, we're not fine. Okay. Yo, 1-800-down bad. Okay, what, what about 1-800-HELP-TD? Can we call 1-800-HELP-TD? See if Ernest is a uh, friend is working the phone lines right now for 1-800-HELP-TD. We need someone's got to call 1-800-HELP-TD right now. I am about to be potentially 0-2. Holy schmoly doly guacamole. Okay. No words. No words. Just... This is horrible. Heidi, quiet. There we go. Justin, Justin, Justin. Oh, that was kind of clean. That was kind of clean. Good job, Fields. Well done. There's no way, right? Oh, my gosh. Check, please. Check, please. Check, please. Check, please. Check, please. Check. Yeah. Check. Yeah, just the bill's good. My dog's barking. Holy schmoly. I suck. Okay. Heidi's freaking out over air. Air just passed our house. Literal air, and she's just losing it. Good hit, Jalen. Yo, maybe I do need to blow this thing up. Not blow it up. Don't. No, this is me. It's my fault, not the game's fault. But holy moly. Horrible, horrible football. Throwing Jones. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. On third down. Jones. Please. Yo, Jalen. Jalen, did you just start being horrible overnight? Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. If Mac Jones completes that, just now Jones throwing on fourth down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He's got no read defender here. I think I'm I think I can house this. I think I can legitimately house this. This is the evolution. This is the evolution of Justin Fields. Good job. Hey, I, I want more of this this year. I honestly do. Even if I struggle a little bit at the start. I gotta utilize the fact that he's like the best running quarterback in football. And if I don't, I think I'm absolutely crazy. Like right here, if he, every time he pitches his line, I got no read defender over there. So like I can just cook. Like, look at how fast this dude is. Good job. This is Justin Fields' draft. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Fields now to throw. Got him. Let's go, Justin. Good dot. Good dot. Okay. Hey. Phew. Wait up. Bounce back. Relax. Bounce back. Come here. Let's go. Good job. Well done, bro. After the sack on first down, Jones. He's going deep for Brown. They've got his man. Secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle. Come here. Time, 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 time. He's got to go for this. On fourth down, Jones. Looking left side and it's complete. Back to throw, Jones. Good hit, Sauce. Again, he'll drop to throw. And it's a Packers touchdown. 
I suck. Oh my gosh, this happens to me. Every time I want to bowl, I just decide, you know what? Forget everything you knew. Forget everything you knew about this game. Just throw that all out. Throw out everything you thought you knew about this game. And just be horrible. That's pretty much what I do. Go Khalil Herbert. Good run, kid. I gotta run the ball better. I 100% need to run the ball better. I, I own when I realize that I am doing something very wrong. Now Fields. He's gonna fire one deep, middle of the field. And that... They snap it to Fields. Nice, nice, nice! Incomplete, they cannot convert. Holy they moly. Try... They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he is gonna loop. Let's kick. Nice kick. Let me, let me know if you make your soccer team. Let, let me know. Let me know how soccer practice goes after this. Free kick. Okay. Oh my gosh. I need seven. <laughs> I need seven so bad. It's not even funny. Good job, Fields. This just in. Good first down. One play action, Fields. Blaze, Blaze! When in doubt, man. When in doubt, throw it to Pickens. That was a dot. I, I saw him kind of get stuck in a press animation there. Okay. Fields is activated. Ooh, that's actually wild that Fields is activated. Fields getting trust means I can run with him on aggressive. And, um... He won't fumble. It's actually crazy that I could have Omaha on him, but I choose that ability with the fact that this is the first time it's ever activated. But, hey, him going for that field goal, missing, just gave us second life. Come on, let's turn this around, Brett. Be smart. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but this is mean defense. I think this is going to box him. Yeah, that's mean. Pick it, though. Oh, my gosh. Pick it. Let's go. Good defense. Okay. Justin, I need seven more. Defense, I need one more stop. Seven more. One more stop. Ramsey, if you want to return this to the house, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. That's all right. Money man. Money man Mooney. Well done, Mooney. Nice catch. Is that George? Is that George Pickens? Is that George Pickens? Yes. Yes, it is. Alright. Okay. I trust. In a lot of ways, I really trust my defense. So, like, I don't really want to clock him here because I want to at least give my defense max time to get the ball back. Second and goal from inside the five. That's a horrible call. It's a horrible call. I hate that call. I hate that call for me. Back to throw. Fields. No, one. One on one on one on one. Okay. Defense, one, one stop, guys. One stop. One stop, one stop, one stop, one stop. Oh, when it mattered most and the world needed us most, we showed up. When the world needed us most, the world needed a hero. We gave them their hero. Okay. Come on, Davenport. House Davenport. Show up for me, House Davenport. Looking to throw on Crosser. Jones. Crosser. Yep. End it. Jalen Johnson, you're the freaking goat. No, don't trip. Don't trip. Don't trip. Don't trip. Okay. Money drive on me. Money drive on three. Come on. We're still the A-side, man. We are still the freaking A-side. Trust me. 
Jalen Johnson shows up. Okay. Find a way, Brett. Find a way. Find a way. Find a way. Let's give it to Khalil. He's not me. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Oh my gosh, I don't know where to go here, man. Justin Fields, what a dot. And he stays in bounds. Brilliant. Let's hurry it up. Now Fields. He's got Freeman here. It's complete. He's out of bounds again, but that that's gonna make it really tough on him. Go conservative. Okay, win the city. We you know we go man down. Whole team, man. This team's got fight, bro. Here's another kneel down as he'll try to set up the game. Okay, he's he's saving his to ice me. So we're gonna take our time out with about four seconds left. Cairo Santos, get us the dub, man. First dub of the season. Holy moly! And then we'll look next week at what we are doing long term because I do not know at the moment. With three seconds to go, this for the win. Cairo, sand, toast, let's go, man. Hey, I'm not done yet. I mean, it's, we're still we're still a dynasty out here. Just just know, we are still a dynasty. Horrible game passing wise, but a great game running wise for Justin Fields, 10 for 98. And we get the dub. Holy schmoly, we're one and one. I don't even know, I got no words to say. Got no words to say right now that are gonna sound smart. Khalil gets an upgrade. Oh my gosh, he's almost to 95 elusive. That's gonna be crazy when he gets to that. The camera died, I'll be back in one second. Plus, no, let's go, plus one speed for Khalil. That's huge, that's huge. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, um, one and one, not a good statistical start. We're gonna look at contracts and then trade talks are coming week three and that's gonna be in this video. So we'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, bam, bam, we're back. Week three, okay. I am about to click this. This is why I waited on all the like potential trade talks. I want to see if I actually, because sometimes it says I have no money. I want to see if I actually have no money. I have money. I have money. Okay. Interesting. 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 I can afford these guys. Mooney wants player friendly four by nine. Jalen wants one year 20. Jalen wants a bag and Jalen probably won't be a superstar next year. Wow. The plot thickens. Okay, I've been thinking about one thing. So in the chat, Ernest was saying that he has Debo Samuel on the block. Now, I want to change the way I play in this CFM, okay? I want to run triple option, crazy. I want potentially Debo Samuel if I can find a way to trade for him. And I want to switch his position to running back. If I can trade for him, I want to switch his position to running back. And I want to run a Justin Fields, Khalil Herbert, Kyle Pitts, Teddy Freeman, George Pickens, Mooney, spread... QB offense with the QB wrap with QB runs with a run game last year I went for the crazy passing stats this year I want to try and have some fun and do some crazy stuff Debo's 31 years old Doesn't have a ton. He's not the most popular guy But one thing I've always wanted to do is take Debo Samuel and put him at running back so I'm gonna reach out to him and see if I were to do a trade, I would still, Ramsey would probably, oh, so if I was going to do that offense, Ramsey would probably be the guy that I would sacrifice to bring in Debo and then potentially look to do the trade for Mooney for Elante. So in my head, I go Mooney for Elante Taylor if I were to do that. And I think that's a relatively good deal. M Mooney for Elante Taylor, I would do that. In a heartbeat. And I know I know the Titans guy wants to do that. So let, let's keep that. Let's go see what we can offer Bucks. Jalen Ramsey. Darnell Mooney. Oh boy. For Debo Samuel. <clears throat> Tristan Wirfs. You know that's not bad. I mean, it's not. It's, not it's actually good. I think you win that trade. 
Okay, I don't think I win, but it's, it's a pretty good offer, right? Let's say, okay, let's say just, okay, talk first, just Debo. I, I see potential in Debo. I want Debo. Talk to me about what, what I, what do I got to do to see Debo Samuel in a Bears uniform? Because I know you under, you don't use it, you underutilize him a little bit. What do I got to do? Tell me. All right, so Denzel, Debo for Jalen in a second. Denzel, Debo, Jalen in a second. Denzel, Debo, Jalen in a second. You can have Jalen. Send it. Ah, blah. Okay, deal. Deal. Shake on it. Shake, shake hands. Shake hands. Sense. Sense. Ladies and gentlemen, trade accepted. Okay. Where is he? Nope. Ladies and gentlemen. You both say I'm dirty out. Okay. My receiving core, stupid, but this is not what I want with Debo. This, this is not the plan, okay? I got plans for us, Debo. I really do. But my plan is to move you and to make you a full-time running back. I have no idea what overall he switches to, but I want Debo as a running back. I want him in an option backfield. What does he become? Shut up! He's a 99? Oh my gosh! Well, he's a 99 receiving back, 90 elusive, 87 power. Okay, so his upgrade bar is 50,000. He's not getting any better, okay? But with him at running back, I can give him all the passing abilities, grab and go. I can give him bulldozer, evasive. I'm, I'm probably going to realistically go evasive and then go something like short out of, or backfield mismatch. Oh, that's such a good ability. Jukebox, bulldozer, dozer, short in. Like, yo, this is about to be stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Okay, this is my plan. I want to show you guys in practice mode because you're probably thinking that I'm crazy for that trade. I am most likely going to move. Dar I'm trading Darnell Money Man Mooney for defense, okay? I'm, I'm telling you that most likely. Or I'm just going to stack the offense and have Sauce Gardner. This is the plan. This is why this trade, and if you guys are excited to see the gameplay of this, kill a like button. I want to run this. Ebo as one of my running backs. Khalil is my other one. Sometimes even three running backs. This is the type of offense that I want to run. Something that looks a lot like, like even like, like stuff like this. Just freaking imagine. This, this to me will be more fun than I'll ever have ever. Like stuff like this. With, with Debo as my main running back in the read option game. His swag level, I earn completely ruined his swag. It looks nothing like him, but I want him in this style of offense with it being like me, Darnell Mooney, potentially spread. Like, okay, for example, a play like this, like you could definitely see a play like this called with me putting Debo over there as a running back where he can also run receiver routes, but I'm giving him pop passes and he has evasive after. This is what Bears franchise is going to become. This is what you can expect. And win or lose, this is going to be so much fun. Don't at me. This is going to be an absolute blast to you. Like, look at this. And I have Justin, like, one thing I feel like even with my bowl, I felt like I didn't have an offense that was, like, cool with Justin Fields. I didn't have something that was like, oh, you know what? This is, like, super tough. You know, now I have like an offense that I can run with Justin Fields that I can do. Okay, for example, let me just show you all the different things that I can do with Debo Samuel. This, Justin Fields running. But hypothetically, okay, I want to do this. Okay, I can move Debo over, over, move him over one, and I got one of the best receivers in the entire league. Now I go here, he's got short in, and he torches somebody because he's such a good route runner. We are going to absolutely have more fun this season than any other season. So please, the next video will be the debut of what's going to be called the Debo Scheme. I know maybe it wasn't the smartest trade. I probably could have gotten like a something, but 
This is going to be absolutely game breaking, and I cannot wait to run this offense. What else? Like, just okay. Last thing. Sorry, I'm rambling here. What else could we do here? We could do like, just like, just imagine the possibilities. Like, okay, this is one thing I'm picturing. Is something like this. Like, okay, triple option with this right here. Like Khalil Herbert, triple option with Debo Samuel. Tell me that's not unbelievable. Lie to me. Lie to me and tell me that that's not going to be unbelievable. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, formally, I was, am so excited for that trade. There's going to be more trades coming. Like I said, it's the final year. I'm going to be making moves. We're going to be making moves. We're going to be having fun. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, welcome Debo Samuel to the team. Our new running back. That's going to be freaking yeah, this is about to be absolutely probably the most fun you want to see me have on Madden. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I just want this to happen right now. Can't wait. See you guys soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have a second channel where I post hockey gameplay. Please go subscribe. The nicest thing you did to me, just go check out that channel. Leave a like. Even if you don't like hockey, give it a chance. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, my Instagram is at BrettBQB. My Twitter is TDBearYG. I am a part of Top Dog Madden. You can get all the best tips at topdogmadden.com for your ebooks, all those type of things. Thank you guys so much for watching. Kill the like button again. If you haven't killed the like button on this video, do it. And once again, go check out my hockey.